Hello and welcome back to our city, Isla Glaze. Thanks for joining me as always. It's always a pleasure to have you around. So great news, we did unlock the next milestone and finally got the crematoriums down. So thankfully we can now empty our recently, well actually our not so recently departed because they were probably some of the first citizens in our city. And empty out our cemeteries and kind of you know get a little bit more control on the death care situation. We have, let's see here, three three tiles in the bag, so to speak. So I like to definitely, so I guess see where we are in the city. So this is the tile one, tile two. So I definitely want to buy this tile. It gives us access to the sea lane. That's where the airport's going to go, the harbor, cargo harbor. And it's going to be our second way to come off the highway and kind of bring a, a main road into this part of the city. And I think I might purchase... This is, remember, we're going to do these two are going to be industrial tiles, industries, DLC, permanent home, and like the generic industry permanent home. So I don't want to do them quite yet because we just don't need the industry. And we have two out of the, out of the four industries kind of rocking at level three right now. So we're, we're doing pretty good making some decent money. So it's fine. So I'm thinking we'll get this tile here for sure. Maybe we'll just buy this one now and then we'll build the interchange off the highway. And I'd like to do a turbine interchange. I haven't built the turbine. Normally I would build the four stack, which is actually a little bit more complicated than the turbine. But um, it takes up a little bit more room. And it's always good to try something new. So let's go ahead and I saved it before I did this. That way, if I don't like buying this tile first or something catastrophic happens, we can always go back to old save. All right, let's do it. We can, we're going to need to pause the game because we're going to blow up the highway. So let's go ahead and do that first. Uh, it's actually pretty darn straight. And let's see about where, this is the sixth lane. It's going to kind of come in through here. We're going to do like a, it's going to come in here. Maybe we'll raise the land a little bit. Maybe we'll even hit like this little mound here. Keep almost maintain that height and be elevated. So that way we can run roads underneath. Maybe we'll build like a, I left room here to build like some kind of interchange here to kind of get the folks. Maybe we'll connect into the four lane here and then it'll come through. I have no connections in here. And then there's another four lane here that'll run, kind of run this way. And then this six lane will kind of split. So maybe we'll do like an inner, pull this up here, kind of do an interchange to get folks from here to here. And then we'll do like I said, a split here, so this road can kind of continue down onto that tile, onto the fertile farmland, which will eventually become a downtown, and then it can also hook to the left. We're going to, when we buy this, we're going to move the rail line up, up, up against the edge of the tile here, and that way we can have almost like a Y shape road here. So that's kind of like the overall plan. Of course, plans do change. Said I, so I want to pick a nice spot for this to come, and I want to do a four-way interchange because the airport's going to go in here, and that way, you know, we can. So where are we going to do that? So I love it. It would be nice if we had the international airport unlocked, and we can actually see about how big it is. But I think it's right here, right? No, it's in the is it in the hubs. Is it this one here? Yeah. So I don't know how big it's going to be. I hate to put an interchange in. Maybe let's see where the sea lane is. It's right here. So we can put. My goal was to put the cargo harbor in here. We can always move the land just a little bit, and then we can maybe put the harbor here, or in here. So we'll have maybe kind of next, kind of close to each other. Maybe the cargo harbor here, the harbor here. So. Probably want to leave. I'm just wondering if maybe we can bring the highway down a little bit, like he, like we're almost running like along here, and that would give me a little bit more room for the airport in here. If I can move this down, like almost like one road length down here. The only problem is, so then this road we're gonna have to curve like this. Well, we saved it, so maybe we try and build it this way. Build it right here. Hopefully the airport won't be in the way. <laughs> but I have a sneaky feeling it's going to, because the, the interchange is going to come out a little bit. He's probably going to get out to about here. That's pretty far. So maybe we build it here. Maybe we can kind of curve 
take the interchange and just kind of put a little style to it, almost make it a little bit more of a spaghetti interchange and kind of give it like a more curve into it here. Then the airport can go right here. And kind of curve out here. So I'd like to get it built and then I can always kind of like, once I see it, and see you have it like all the lanes kind of where, the, where they need to be, I can always kind of like blow up a couple, kind of retweak them. So let's, maybe we'll put it right here. Right about, and then it'll come right, yeah, pretty much right where this mound is. It'll come through and go like that. All right, let's try it. Worst comes to worst, just blow it up. That's part of the game. So any rocks and stuff to blow up? Nah, that's good. The highway's pretty darn straight, so I don't think we need to redraw the highway. I'll get rid of some of these trees, because we'll put our own trees in here. All right, so let's take a look at this guy. So we need two parallel roads, one above the other. That's easy enough. This isn't that, it doesn't look that complicated. It's got some slip lanes and a couple turns. So, yeah, this isn't that, that bad. So I hope not. Let's just go ahead and take a look. Need parallel roads, and it probably only need to be uh, two lane. So we just need, like, I'm going to build it with the two lane, uh, this road here. It's kind of cheap. One, two, three. Uh, we need some guides. We don't have any guides on. We, we, we will need the guides for the most part here. And I said right about here, right? So maybe we'll pick a node. So maybe this node will be the node we would pick. And they come off like right about here. And it'll be our parallel roads. And then they gotta drop down. Maybe we'll, we'll make them a little longer here. So we got a nice gentle slope that and then we make it a little shorter here because we know we're gonna put the airport in here so maybe we'll go like eight units maybe we'll go like nine cheat a little bit that's okay all right that's that and then we get it to run these out. So this just run out some roads. Like I said, we might have to curve them a little bit. Okay. Now, if it's that far apart, can we make it three-lane highway? Well, you know what? We it's the airport, and it's the only thing that's going to be here is the airport. Probably two-lane highway is enough here. This maybe we'll end up make convert into what well, we're going to convert it to a six-lane road. So this might not be too bad here. Let's just see how this will shape up. Hey, Vic, good to see you. How's it going? It's going well. We're building a um, turbine interchange to get all, get on the highway. So we got the parallel roads, and I'm just trying to get the spacing right. I can see we got a little bit of let's do some leveling a little bit here. See how the ground's a little messed up. Yeah, we want a flat surface to build on. There we go. That's a little, I probably should have leveled this a little bit more. But it's okay. It'll be fine. Life is, is good. How are you, Vic? How are you, my friend? I'll race this man a little bit. Oh, we're saving. We always put it down. We can always put it back. We got plenty of money, plenty of time, plenty of tools. So let me just take a look at how is this connection going to look if we do this. So if I put this like here, we get a nice, nice, easy connection with a three-lane road. Let's see, six-lane road, not three-lane. Do we need to go one more gap up? And we want to make this one first, I think. Ooh. Oh, we might be too too close. Yeah, we are. See, we're, we got we don't have enough space. So, good thing I checked. One of these got to go, and it's gonna be this one. We gotta make it two units apart, not one. I'm good, thanks. City is growing. Very good, very good. You were the one that said you had um. Uh, 120k, right? 
That's from this morning? I mean, we were talking this morning. Yeah. That's, that was you. Oh, wrong road. That's probably better. Let me try that again. So make sure this is going to work before we um, get into building this whole entire thing. Should. That's perfect. Perfecto Expelliarmus. And then we can upgrade. See, so when you build this on console, you got to do this. Upgrade to that. Now you get rid of the traffic lights. That way you get the three dedicated, or the three straight lights, straight arrows, and you get the, you lose the one, the one lane. On Traffic Manager TMP, Traffic Manager, Manager Present Edition, you can just do the three and the three, and then you can just change them to straight so they don't do the U-turn nonsense. All right, that's a little bit of that. So let's go ahead and so that will work. That'll work. That's the right spacing. So this looks like it goes right to here, right? I'm sure that uh, it's pretty close. This might be close enough. Oh, and it's not. Not even that close enough. This is going to be a little weird. Cause I don't, this, it looks pretty. It's a little not quite straight. It's a little bit curved to the left. So we just might have to follow that curve. Which we can do. That's not, that's not bad. It's gonna go like that. Or maybe we'll just do it straight. That's gonna punch too much. good enough looks pretty good there all right at least we have the side roads if they're just there for like markers and guides and landing zones that's why I just drew them there so they're the easy roads just to draw in so if we need to line stuff up we can line stuff up now the harder part, harder roads are going to be next here. So that's, this is kind of cool looking. So we got one that goes along there and then curves and comes up. So let's draw that one first. We'll draw, that's coming at us. So it's this one here. So we'll start it here. Let's see if this, we can start it here. He's got it going like this. And like that. Okay. And there's a road that goes. And this road's gonna kinda go like this. All the way around. Oh wow, that's this is crazy. All the way around. And then that one goes underneath. So let's draw that piece. So we'll blow this little bit off. So kind of like where that one goes over the road. So it's about there. This looks about right. Goes up and to the left. Kind of like this. And then like one, two, three. I just gotta get some height. There's a pillar in the middle, so we can maybe get in the middle here. Come on. That's quite a bit of height. Oh, that's a lot of height. Oh, yeah. Maybe it comes down a little bit more.
something like that. That's the inside road. Can I cut it in here? Maybe I can. Because then this road goes over top and around like this. Kind of follows it like this. Okay. And now let's just get the basic shape. And I can always maybe look, make it draw a little bit bigger so I can leave myself a little room. And then we always... Does it, then it, does it, it dies down. Okay, so we want to go probably three high here. Kind of follow this road here. Come on. I want to go here. That's about right, huh? I kind of like this. It's a little, not quite. This would be straight this out just a touch. So, kind of like that. It's a little, like, not curvy enough. Maybe we can do this. Maybe blast it right here. And use the curve tool. Gonna bring it in. I like that. It's kind of that's that piece. This. Where are we? Here we are. So we need a road here. Oh, we didn't draw the roads here. Okay, let's draw them. What you got there? <laughs> I'm trying to build it. It's a turbine interchange. This is a first for me. So we'll give it a shot. It's a turbine, it's called a Timbo's Turbine Interchange. Is this is a China simulator? <laughs> I maybe. I don't know about that. So this road goes up underneath. Like right here. That's a placeholder. And we can make that single lane right up here. Now that goes across the street. Okay, this one kind of, then from here, so about halfway down, so about here. We'll make it right here for now. We go put the airport in here? Yeah, I think so. So maybe right about this node here. We'll start from here. Kind of goes like this. Like that, and then we're gonna loop it in here. The neck goes into here. Do we have enough room here? But he's gonna have to go. Oh, we gotta change this here. He's gotta go into here like this. Yeah. This guy's gonna go up, up and over like this. This guy's gonna go. So this guy is going to go like this. So we'll, we'll go ahead and draw this in the straighter. And we'll keep going. And this guy is in this looking. It's going to kind of go like this. So maybe we'll put him here. Let's so put another row right here. We'll connect to that. And then this one will connect to this. And this one will connect to this. That looks right. And then this one goes around on the outside. This one goes up on the inside. Not tall enough. 
So how did I get that? Uh, must be a hill. You have to take care of seven seniors, a couple kids. <laughs> yeah, I gotta take care of a lot of stuff. I'll tell you what. All right. Oh, and we gotta re leave that some room. That other road some room. Okay, I wanna go like right by here. Nope, not there. See something real quick. So I'd rather have a nice smooth curve. Yeah. Let's see if I can trick this game a little bit more. There we go. Let's see if I'll make a nice easy curve here. So I just tell it there's no land. Kind of like that. Put the land back. This guy can do this. And they'll connect up here. I'll probably change this a little bit. Uh, maybe we'll keep it the same. I will. We might, I might merge these two together, but a little bit better. And then this will merge to connect to here. So set piece. Okay. Oh, you sent me an image. Okay, very nice. Very very nice, my man. So the next one goes. So let's do this one first. It's just this stuff weaves in and out so much. It's like, which one to pick? Because you got to, like, there's once it goes from being the inside road to the outside road to the inside road. So it's like, it's like you, you, you sometimes you want to work your way in and to out because that way you don't crunch in on the, you don't find out you don't have enough space later on in the middle. But, like, the road I'm about to draw is then going to become the outside road and this is going to become the inside road. But then there's a road underneath. So maybe we ought to draw the road underneath first, because then we can see where we're going to land the pillars. So that's over here, and that's going to be off of here. It's going to curve like up and over. Those because basically the way this is built is you see how there's like these two roads that kind of go over top. It's like that way over here, like everywhere there's two roads that kind of go over top, but they like weave under and over each other as you they go around so this one actually goes up underneath then over like this and actually becomes the road that goes on the outside and connects to here and then, then this is like the inside road even though this is the outside road here so we'll have to read out the redraw this I think bring it a little tighter right along here maybe 
We'll see. We'll see. Because then this one's going to have to go on the outside of it. So maybe I ought to bring this up closer. Let's just do that now. This needs, if I start to turn here, it can be a little, little closer and kind of hook in a little bit better. So maybe here to here. To here to here we blow up. I'm going to take this road. Kind of like bring it up a little, like start it here. Have it go like this, then like this. We need to get height. Let's just do that first. And will it be easier to draw with this road? Maybe. So it needs to be at this this high here. So we do from here. Maybe we just draw from this way. Might be a little easier. Kind of like go like here. Land to fill it right here. Is that too tall? Can I get away with like one less height? So one, two, oh, let's go over here. So one, two, three. Let's try three. So three here. I think it won't work because it's it's a little bit raised there. Yep, let's try four. Four. That's not quite right either. It's going to hit that road. So try five. Maybe we'll come from here. Alright, right here's good. Oh, I want you to go here. What are you hitting? Is the pillar in the way? Yeah, the pillar is in the way. Well, let's do this. Oh, when in doubt, turn all the guides off and see what you can do. Let's yeah, see if we can do it like this. It looks a little closer, right? I think I moved it over about one road length. A road width, so that's not bad. And we gotta get to here. And we want this to be at three right here. One, two, three. Can we go like this? No, I don't want you going in the middle of the highway there, buddy. I have to blow the highway up. Let me draw the highway. Can you just land in the middle? That's all I'm asking. I know this loop's too steep because you're not supposed to be snapping to the highway, buddy. You're supposed to go in the middle, like right there. Can you not do that? It's like, no, I can't. I know you. Well, let's do this. Ooh, let's do this. Make you a two lane highway road. Let me get a little bit of room, more room. And stuff. We we'll probably need it to be two lane anyway for lane mathematics, so that'll work. There we go. Let's try that. Now maybe you'll be a little bit more cooperative. So this is going to come up here. Can I maybe like that. And you can kind of come down. I'm off tomorrow. I took the day off. I'm looking forward to it. Play Skylines all day? That would be awesome, but I probably can't. So maybe we come from the ground here. Let's bring it straight up. There's that piece. So folks who want to lead, or which way are we driving? I don't even know anymore. Folks leaving here, 
and get on this piece of road and zip over to here and get off and get over here hey that's that's good it works so people going this way can go to the right that's good because then we need a piece to go to the left but that'll be this piece here it's just a little I can fix this I can fix this off camera so to speak so then we'll do like a road oh, that's not what I want to do that's definitely not what I want to do Let's just do this put a road here bring it down to ground level uh, there's one more there's one more uh, but he'll be we're gonna create some room there is one road that goes two roads in the way actually cool so maybe this one needs to be farther and so they you guys he's got some room there all right so let's not put it here so we'll put it like right here Uh, they should be laying. We just need to like blow this back to here. We need like something that kind of goes like this. We'll see if this works. And then these two will connect together. Kind of like that. And then this will connect to this road here. So you come down a two lane road, we'll do two lane here, and then it'll split one and one, and you can go this way. And gonna go that way, that'll be nice. And then you can go or you can go up and around. Go that way. And obviously you can go straight. If this don't get on that, that part of the road, you just go straight over. So from here you can go in all three directions, which is perfect. So it kinda like got like one leg done. And this is gonna follow this. Kind of come over this way. Oh, we're gonna need to get more height here. So maybe we come up like this. Is, how many? How much is this? See, one, two, three, four, five. Maybe five will do it. I don't know. It's gonna be tough. Oh, that'll do. I want this to be straight. Not snap to that thing. Like right here. Alright, that's part of it. Let's go sink back down. It's gonna come like this. Go like that. This thing's actually pretty big. It's, it's big, it's like round big. It's not long. Alright. Has anyone ever built one of these? Are you like, what's this crazy guy doing? Never seen so many roads in my life. You're the inside road. Okay, so this is good. How far down can we go? Oh, we're saving. I like that. And this guy will go right to here. We're on the right track. I can see it. It's all coming together. I don't know if you guys can see it. If I can see it. So we just need to do this to here. But before we get that, we can draw this other piece. So this guy here, we'll draw him. Goes up, goes around the piece I just made. He goes up and around in here. So where does he go? He goes and connects to here. Yeah. So he needs to get blown up a little bit. He'll, he'll come in he, like right here and the other one will land in here. Hopefully. Ooh, maybe not. But yeah, it can cover in here. So he's on the outside, right? Yeah, so let's draw that outside piece and then we'll know where to go. No, that's... Yeah. Pick a node, any node. I don't want you to snap there, buddy. You want me to go right in the middle. Can you help click a brother up? There you go. What we have? What's our height here? 
One, two, three. All right, we that's all we need is three. Why do you want to be four? All right, we'll make you four if that makes you happy. Like, uh, like this, like jump like crazy, like that for whatever reason. So that's probably good enough. Something like that. It's looking all right. Look yeah. You're going to be kind of like this. I'll get the pillar in the way. The pillar here. That's good. Is it really got to be that tall? This seems like that's so tall. Get over that. Come on, pillar. Or whatever it was. Just need the right curve. It's about right. You got a nice little a loop. I don't know, I feel like this like it doesn't need to be that tall. I guess I could blow this back a little bit more. It just feels like it's really high for whatever reason. Oh, that's a little roller coaster for him. A little, a little bit of roller coaster never hurt nobody. Uh, what does this do? It dies around. Well, let's draw this piece now that we know where that goes. You need to go like up three units here. Something like this. Kind of curve. Looks like you're gonna need to go up or even higher. Is it four? We think we'll get into this. Oh, maybe not. We'll get it from four from here. Like that. You, my friend, connect here. And then we have a road that goes like this. So this comes in the here. I should say a road that goes like this. All right, I think it's shaping up. All right, that looks like the bed. Oh yeah, let's do that. Oh, 
Uh, that's it? Is that it? Oh man, this might be... We got like two more rows to draw, that's it. Alright. I just want to see if I can get a better... curve here. Maybe I just turn these off. Kind of go like this. I just want to get like a little bit of an up and then like a down. So is that... How much... Is that level one down here? It's going to be like that. Kind of like this. Oh, that doesn't look too bad. And then we go from here to here. I think we're done. Just maybe. Okay, I got like a little bit of a curve like that. this thing and see what, what it's doing. I need the arrows on, so let's do... I need my, my cursor. Alright, there we go. Let's see if I drew this right. So, I'm on the highway. Obviously, I can just go across. It's easy. I want to go to the left. I get on this road here. Because these are going to connect. And I go this way. And I go left. No problem. If I want to go to the right, I come on this road here. I go over this loop and come down here and get onto the right. Good. So we got all three three directions on, the, on this one. So let's see. How about this side? If uh, Oh, actually, we just should do this side. So if I'm on, on here. Oh, did we not finish this? I oh, didn't finish it. This, this piece needs to be done. Okay, so what do we need to do here? Uh, that's easy. That's kind of <laughs> we got it, though. Roads are confusing, but we got it. I, it's, I, this is like the, the last little piece here. Um, like I said, we're, we're, this is backwards. So this is, that's confusing the heck out of me, probably confusing the heck out of you guys, too. So this is backwards. This goes this way. It connects here. So at this point... It's a little high, so maybe we can redraw this piece. So let's see if we can bring this down. Now I kind of know where it's going to go. Yeah, we can step this down a little bit. Well, we can step it down quite a quite a bit. So really, what is, how high is that? Why is this that high? This doesn't need to be that high. I think it was at a, I think that was four units up. We don't need to be that high. Here's good. Are we still really high? Are we on a hill? What's going on? Hold on a second. I'm going to draw this one more time. Just want to see. Um... Alright, we can go down one here. So might as well do it. We got to get to the ground level eventually. I think that's about what we're trying to do. Then this guy can do this. Kind of come off here. Kind of go like that. I think that might be it. I think that might actually be it. So where were we? We were here. Alright, and we'll just do like this. It's a little short. Well, nah, we should be able to, we should be good. Take uh this road here. Doesn't like it because of the, the transition. So we need to do this. First. Oh, wrong road. 
No, we should be good. Take this boat here. Something like that. We'll do some lame mathematics in a minute. So we're going to need to do that. Alright, so. Let's see. You come off here. So we were good on this this piece. This little piece here was good. So now let's do the... We're, just, we're driving this way. I'm driving this way and I want to get to the left. Then I just drive here and I, I just go to the left. No problem. That's easy. I want to go to the right. So I'm going here. I just go here, right? This just goes up. Oh, this little crazy roller coaster road. And I can go that way. And if I want to turn around. I think that's it, right? One. If I want to go straight, I go straight. Right? One, two, three. Well, I just go straight, two, three. That should be it. Alright. I live here. I want to go this way. I want to go left. I just take this road here. That's easy. I go straight, I just go over the bridge. If I want to go to the right, I take this little road here. I go snake around and hit this and go right. And how about this side? This is the last side, fourth side, right? So this should be it. If I live, if I'm going this way and I want to go straight, I always say just go straight. If I want to go to the left, I take the little road and go to the slip lane, go to the left. Easy, easy, easy peasy. I want to go to the right, go to the airport. I get on this road and I go up and I go zoop around and then boom, I go on the airport. So I think we're done. I mean, I just, obviously we can convert some roads. So I guess we could do that real quick. Uh, so lane mathematics, just so you, you, you're, you're aware of that, if you haven't really looked at lane mathematics in a while, we'll go over that real quick. Biffa does some good stuff with lane mathematics, but we'll uh, go over that real quick. That's probably enough. So I would rather remake this connection here and here. See, I'm not a big fan of having, you see how we got like this bump out here? It like a bumps weird. And you end up getting these left hand turn arrows and straight arrows. What I would rather do is do this. Blow that back. Take a road here. Uh, maybe it's a regular old concrete road is fine. Find a node. Make, see if I can make a straight connection here. Last is, is that straight? I think that's straight. Last that back. Come out just a touch more. Just give him a little room. Then take the four lane road here. I like this. This is my. I like this song. It's a good song. Go here. Try find the middle with the little balls. Ah, little balls. <laughs> ah, yeah. So put this circle, the big circle, into two little circles, and you can go up if you want. About four forty units, four forty bucks is fine. You want to try and be straight, but it's tough because sometimes there's these other roads in the way. That's just what says stone right now. So maybe we'll go down. I love. What road is causing my problem? Well, we blow this up too. Uh, I shouldn't cause a problem anymore. Something's right here. That's why I paused the game. There you go. Oh, come on. Seriously? Stop pointing in this direction. Here. Stop looking at me. I'm trying to draw a road here, folks. As I get these guys in my way. So go to this circle here like this. Oh, I need to be on the straight tool. Can I go up? You know, you can go up 330, 440, something like that's fine. We'll go 330. See how that looks. Get it like in the middle, the roads. Then you can take the two lane road if you have it. Hopefully you do. Go out maybe like three units. It's about there. I think that's yeah, one, two, three. Kind of snap it like that. Same thing, three units like that. And then go ahead and flip the road around. I'm going to convert this to two. There you go. Then we'll reconnect that to the highway here. Are we saving? No, we're not. We'll 
Well, I guess I'll draw it backwards. Show you why we did that in a second. I don't want that little piece. It's going to create a road node. So what I want is one, one, one solid piece. Something like this. That way it's one piece. You don't want to have nodes too close. So why I did that was now you see how the road just comes in nice and straight and then you get the four straight arrows and at this point now they'll just like split and go rip rip down the road like that and rip down the road like that and then you don't have like this weird like looking bump out thing where you get these arrows where it's going to go straight down here and they got to make actually like a left hand turn at this point they'll go full speed ahead and they'll just fly through here and zip right through and get on two wheels because they're going so fast and rip through in here. I had a problem with waste, so I built three land, 30 landfills. Whoa. Uh, you don't need that many landfills for 120k city, my man. You probably need about a C. Well, maybe probably need about 20. So that's probably not bad, actually. 20, 20 landfills and maybe about... Uh, let's see. Six incinerators. It's probably about good. And we'll do the same thing here. And so you see how like these, you get these little bump outs. I'll probably fix them. And kind of go for like I said, a little more of like a V-shape type connection. So like once again, you know, they'll do all their lane switching in here. You know, there'll be three, it'll be, it's three lanes, goes to four lanes. Then it goes to two and two. So this is like the lane mathematics, right? You got four four lanes going into this node, two leaving, and two leaving. And same thing here. You got two uh, lanes going in, into this node, and you got one leaving here and one leaving here, right? And that, that will give you these dedicated turn arrows. And that's what you want. Because what will happen is the people who want to make a left and go down this way, they'll be like in the left lane, like pretty far back here. And we'll watch it when we it's actually run. We can come back and look at it and see, because the the people that want to go straight will be like in this lane, so they'll they'll use all four lanes, because they'll because they can't be in this lane, because if this lane this goes away, goes to the left, right. This is different than say as opposed to like say um, where you can get messed up. It's like if it's one lane, and you get that arrow, that's bad. That's a bad arrow. Because what will happen is they'll all be in the one lane. And if it's backed up here, they get all chopped up and blocked. Or if you have even like the three lane road, it can be bad too. Because then you get this, they might, they, they might get all blocked up in this lane. All right, so that's good. All right. I guess we can, I think that's probably good for now, don't you think? Uh, I guess we can just finish this piece, which is on a hill, so I don't know how well that's going to work out for me. So same kind of idea, we'll, we'll chop it, I think that's probably long enough, or maybe we'll chop it like here, let's go here, maybe we get it about halfway, chop it off like this, but then do the whole four lane trick. Get all the nodes we can find in here. Skylines. Loves to give me places to put roads. I'll go about here is good. It's a little too close though. Shoot. There's too much crap. My way. That's actually probably not bad. Probably close enough for government work, as you say. Let's come out four units instead. Let's 
Okay, we still have a little bit of a bump here. There we go. I pulled it out. Just straighten her out. And then we go find the uh, the new ro the old road here. I guess we should hook up the rail line. That's probably good. Give them like two two road lengths, roughly, to the merge. That way, once again, you got you got the four lanes, and you got four lanes here, so you got two and two and four. And then they'll kind of do their mixing in here, and then they'll they'll, they'll merge out the three, and they'll get the hell out of my city. <laughs> 